answering questions using ULS online. First, you'll sign in using your ASC or SC teacher's email and their login password. Then you'll choose the hamburger in the left corner and go to ULS, Unique Learning System. Then you'll open Unit Lessons. The strand or grade level at the top will default to the teacher's grade level. Then you'll have all the units to choose from. They're accessible year round. Right now I have Let's Go to Summer Camp chosen. Scroll down to view the lessons. So I'm looking at all the lessons in this unit and we're going to read and comprehend but first we need to read the book so that we can answer the questions. So to read the book, you view activities in lesson one and hit the interact button. Here you'll have a communication board that you can access and then back to the book. Use the arrows to turn pages read the book to the student or have the student read the book or use the Asher goes to music camp speech. He packs his drumsticks speech. and water bottle. When you're done with the book, you'll navigate to the menu. Choose ULS unit lessons. And this time. You'll scroll down to lesson two. My scroll doesn't want to work. So here we are at lesson two. It's comprehend. So we're going to view the activities. And the first one is called answer questions. So let's interact with that. My student isn't quite to the level of being able to read, so I'm going to click the go and choose level one. What is it time for? Okay, well, according to the story, it was time for camp. Camp. Let's go to the next one using the arrows. What must people pack for camp? What must people pack for camp? I double clicked to have it read aloud. What they need. And then let's get one wrong on the next slide. What does Jaden pack for science camp? Basketball and shorts. Whoops. Safety goggles and medicine. So there you go. There's an activity answering questions based on a story. When you're done, go back to unit lessons. and choose another activity from lesson two. We have comprehension activity. We're going to interact. What levels do we have? Just this one level. Put the items in the backpack that the characters packed in the story. We can also put the items in the backpack that the characters packed in the story. So Use getting ready for camp to help you. And choose what they took. So click. Basketball. Paintbrushes. Let's see if there's any other levels. Just this one level. Okay, where are they going and what did they pack? Jaden was going to, hmm, I don't remember. I think it was horse camp. Horse camp. Oh. What did he pack? Well, he didn't pack boots and sunscreen. Let's try safety goggles. Safety goggles and medicine. Yay. 
we're heading toward uh, spring, so we're probably closer to something like unit 27. So I'll choose that unit. And then we'll scroll down to see all the lessons. I have all lessons clicked on the left and every lesson starts with a book. And then these activities will revolve around the characters in the book, the content of the book. So let's view activities in lesson one and let's read the book that we're going to be answering all kinds of questions about. There's always a communication board where you can use the read aloud Paris feature. Paris listens for sounds. She uses her ears to hear. Now she hears different sounds. Okay, using her ears. She heard a tap on the door. It was her mom. She heard a knock. It was her mom. Drip from the faucet. Swish from the faucet. Zzz from a bee. Zzz. Ooh, it's getting closer. She hears a ting ting. Looks like they have little sound effects on her drum set. She's playing lightly. Oh, but now it's loud. The end. Okay, so we could go back to the communication board and simply ask questions. So lesson two is always called read and comprehend. So we can view these activities. And it looks like there's going to be one, two, three, four activities. And this is kind of what it always looks like. <laughs> so you use the go button to see what levels you have. Okay, water swishing or dripping water? Loud. Water swishes. Staying in lesson two, we're going to view the activities and look at activity number three. Interact. Okay, so who or what questions? Who or what? Do we wanna do level one and two or level three? Let's try level one and two this time. Okay, so we can hear it and we can see it. So who or what makes that sound? Did the mom? Mom. And review some of the questions from the activity. Who knocked hard on the door? Mom. Lesson two and lesson four are always comprehension activities. So if you choose any other unit, and you go to lesson two, it'll always be answering questions first, comprehension activity second, comprehension activity third, and comprehension standards connection fourth. No matter what unit you choose. There's read and comprehend and read and comprehend. Every unit, lesson two and four, will be read and comprehend. Lesson two and four in How Are They Alike? Read and comprehend. Again, answering questions, comprehension activity, comprehension activity, and level book connection. Let's check out some of these activities in lesson four. Oh, it's the same. Answer questions, comprehension activity, comprehension activity, and standards connection. So there's a real common thread here. Book, four activities, book, four activities. Okay, so this is what you can use in ULS to answer questions.